Okay, today we will discuss about uh, applications of genetic engineering in different fields. First of all, what is genetic engineering? It is the manipulation of uh, genes, uh, cells and living tissues in a predictable and controlled manner to generate changes in the genetic makeup of an organism. It is also called as a genetic modifications or genetic manipulation. And it involves the direct manipulation of uh, organism genes using different types of biotechnological tools. Genetic engineering is a set of technologies used to change the genetic makeup of cells, including the transfer of genes within and across species boundaries to produce improved or novel organisms. Uh, to achieve the aims of genetic engineering, generally a cloning strategy has to be devised that will enable efficient use of the technology, this technology. Generally, in the cloning uh, experiment, there are four basic, uh, there are four stages, basically four stages. First one is the isolation of DNA fragment, means uh, isolation of uh, gene of interest, which is to be cloned. In the next step, these uh, uh, gene of interest is uh, uh, ligated or uh, cloned into the appropriate vector, means uh, just like a plasmid vector or a viral vector or something other vectors would. So in the second step, uh, the gene of interest is cloned into a suitable vector which form a recombinant. In the next step, these recombinants are uh, transferred into the host cells for ampli amplifications. In the host cells, uh, these recombinant forms are amplified and uh, in the last uh, fourth step, uh, recombinants are screened for their uh, for carrying the desired genes because uh, uh, in the case of plasmid vector just a simple selector plasmid pbr322 it uh, carry the two antibiotic resistance genes uh, tetracycline resistance gene and uh, ampicillin resistance gene uh, these genes are the, uh, known as a selectable marker gene on this basis particular uh, recombinants are screened for carrying the desired genes this is a simple illustration of uh, DNA cloning. Here is the uh, gene of interest was uh, is isolated from uh, specific cells, and uh, this gene of interest is cloned into the appropriate vector, and it forms a recombinant. This recombinant form is transferred into the host cells for amplification purpose, and if uh, uh, if we desire for a specific protein, then we use uh, uh, here as an expression vector. Then we use expression vector in which particular gene of interest is ligated. And in uh, host cells, they express because the expression vector contains promoter sequences at uh, 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 particular ribosome binding sites. And these uh, particular genes uh, express the uh, specific proteins. And if uh, we, uh, which may be uh, proteins used for the used as a growth hormones or uh, proteins which is used for the uh, to remove the blood clots, this is the purpose of uh, DNA cloning. These are the some basic uh, applications of genetic engineering, uh, which utilize the genetic techniques, gene therapy, which is used to treat the genetic disorders, marker assisted selections, which is used for the uh, in the case of plant breeding, on the basis of molecular marker, molecular diagnostic tools, genetically modified crops for a specific property, just like a herbicide resistance plant and insecticide resistance plant, as well as uh, in the case of uh, uh, particular uh, proteins, uh, uh, particular proteins or particular product is also produced with uh, with the help of genetically modified crops, which utilize the genetic engineering techniques, designer drugs as well as particular the expression of gene can be controlled through the gene control technology which is the applications of the genetic engineering actually gene genetic engineering is a part of biotechnology uh, because uh, genetic engineering as such uh, 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 different types of tools which is used for the biotechnology uh, biotech in, uh, which is used in the biotechnology and the application of biotechnology and genetic engineering is uh, similar uh, in the case of uh, genetic engineering, genetic engineering may apply in the uh, in the agricultural field, genetic technology field, medicine field, food technology field, and environmental biotechnology field for the different purposes. 
just like in the case of medicines it is used for the production of different types of antibiotics vitamins hormones as well as interferons and in the case of agriculture it is used for the production of genetically modified crops uh, which uh, have with the enhanced nutritive value or some specific character in the case of food technology where it is used for the production of different types of alcoholic beverages as well as dairy products in the case of environmental biotechnology it is used for the uh, to control the pollutions or to degrade the pollutions pollutants generally genetic engineering is providing powerful tools in every year of uh, every sphere of human activity means in uh, particular in the case of humans every sphere of human activity uh, uh, genetic in engineering is may be utilized here we discuss uh, in three sphere first one is the medical health and diagnostic second one is the agriculture and third is the environment first one is the application of genetic engineering medical health and diagnostics the first uh, genetically modified organisms to produce human protein was e coli that was given dna to produce somatostatin which is a human growth hormone in 1977 In 1982, Zintec, which is a company, developed humulin, human insulin, to treat the diabetes, and it was the first biotech drug to be FDA approved. After that, there are more than 80 biotech drugs, vaccines, and diagnostics, with more than 400 biotech medicines in development, targeting over 200 diseases. Nearly half of them are uh, target the uh, half of them are for cancer, uh, which is used for the to treat the cancer one of the first genetically engineered products sold was tissue plasminogen activated tpa tpa is a blood clotting dissolving enzyme which is used immediately after a heart attack or a stroke to clear blood uh, blocked vessels these are the top 10 uh, selling biotech drugs betaseron is uh, this is a, uh, this is a developer which uh, developed this drug Betaseron, which is used, uh, which is used for the treatment of multiple sclerosis, Ceridase, uh, used for treat, uh, used to treat the gout disease, uh, and Jerix B, generally used for the as a hepatitis B vaccines. Fever, it is an anti-HIV drug. Epozen, this is a red blood cell enhancement. Uh, Zenotropin, generally, uh, it is used for the growth failure. Imulin, which is a uh, used for the to treat the diabetes. Uh, this is not intron it is the interferon interferon is which is used to treat the cancers and viral infections and these are the, the, the these are the top 10 selling biotech drugs which uh, developed with the help of genetic engineering techniques proteins vaccines by genetically modified bacteria or viruses generally bio process means it is it is used for the production of uh, it is used for the production of a particular product on large scale bio processing allows uh, uh, for a large quantity of the desired product to be created in short amount of time and for a relatively low cost the main product is generally bio processed is the insulin in the case of medical field the human protein which is a human protein uh, uh, human hormone insulin hormone which is uh, generally in the natural uh, in the uh, normal conditions insulin is released from pancreas which uh, helps in uh, lowering the blood glucose level uh, human genes for insulin is placed into back uh, for the production of insulin uh, on uh, large scale human gene of for insulin is placed into bacteria these are cultured and allowed to produce insulin which is collected purified and sold to the millions of diabetes worldwide these are uh, this is the uh, formation of insulin through the uh, with the help of genetic engineering the human insulin genes is isolated and ligated into the specific expression vector which carry the uh, beta gal gene and uh, the a chain and b chain Uh, uh, individually isolated into different uh, plus uh, different vector. Here is the A chain of insulin, and here is the B chain of insulin. Uh, this this is the expression vector because here is the bacterial promoter which exp uh, which uh, 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 which is, uh, which regulate or uh, which particular promote the expression of these insulin genes. After ligations, 
it form a recombinant and then recombinant is transferred into the host cells in the in this case it, it is a e coli and in this e coli this insulin a chain and here in insulin b chain expressed in the culture cells because here is culture cells the cultures means in uh, uh, for products uh, for production on large scale it uh, transferred to the fermenter where it pro uh, produce uh, particular insulin in this case particular uh, insulin uh, form as a fusion protein because beta glycine are also present here and it is used uh, after that uh, productions uh, this chain is uh, treated with the cyanogen bromide which cleaves the beta gal peptides and then a chain and b chain are uh, further uh, modified and then further disulfide bonds are created between these two chains and then active insulin is formed here is the larger scale productions. Generally, insulin genes uh, was isolated from human pancreas cells. A chain and B chains both, both are individually ligated to different plasma factor. And then further, this recombinant was transferred into the fermentation tanks and then fermentation where uh, it expressed the A chain and uh, B chain. And then after further modifications, A chain and B chain are uh, ligated with the disulfide bond, uh, uh, joined with the disulfide bonds. And a large scale production of insulin is here which is used to treat the different uh, which is used to treat the diabetic patients generally uh, genetic engineering uh, has provided a variety of drugs and hormones for medical use as i say that uh, in the case of uh, uh, just like as example of a production of insulin another example is interferon which is used to eliminate certain viruses and kill cancer cells it is also a product of genetic engineering just interferon was, uh, is also uh, interferon is a natural component which uh, release during the viral infections or some other infections but interferon ca uh, can be produced uh, with the help of genetic engineering and uh, it is a, also a product of genetic engineering as uh, similar to the uh, tissue plasminogen activator and urokinase which are used to dissolve blood clots another byproduct is a type of human growth hormone as uh, as i say somatotrophin uh, it is used to, to treat dwarfism and produced through the genetically engineered bacteria and yeast. These are some therapeutic products which is uh, which formed with the help of genetic engineering uh, techniques. Insulin, which is used to treat the diabetes, hemoglobin as a blood substitute. Human protein C, different types of vaccines are also produced with the help of genetic engineering techniques just like a recombinant vaccines, DNA vaccines, uh, growth hormones and so on. These are the some therapeutic products which is uh, which formed with the help of genetic engineering methods. Another method in the medical fields uh, is gene therapy. Uh, sorry, another application of genetic engineering is a gene therapy in the medical field. Generally, gene therapy uh, is a technique to treat the genetic disorder. Means uh, it is used to treat the genetic disorder. <coughs> And gene therapy is a technique for correcting defective genes that are responsible for disease development. It uh, has been defined as nucleic acid based, based treatment or transfer of DNA RNA to target cells in the intention to treat serious illness, generally de genetic disorders. There are two types of gene therapy. First one is the somatic cell and gene, th uh, uh, cell gene therapy and second one is the germ cell and gene therapy. Uh, Somatic cell gene therapy means uh, uh, therapeutic genes transfer. If uh, therapeutic genes are transferred into the somatic cells, then it is a somatic cell gene therapy. And if the therapeutic genes is transferred into the uh, germ cell gene therapy, germ cells, then it is a germ cell gene therapy. Generally, somatic cell gene therapy is preferred over the germ cell line gene therapy because in the case of germ, uh, germ uh, line gene therapy, it is heritable and passed to the later generations. But in the case of somatic cell gene therapy, it will not be inherited. Uh, to the next generation. Uh, generally, at present, all research is directed to the correct genetic defects in somatic cells. But uh, in the case of germ cell line gene therapy, for safety and ethical, technical, ethical and technical reason, it is not being attempted at present. Uh, there are uh, some approaches for correcting the faulty genes in the case of gene therapy. First one is the a normal gene may be inserted into a location within the genome to replace a non-functional genes. It is the most common approach where a normal gene may be inserted to replace the non-functional genes. Second one is the an abnormal gene 
could be swapped for a normal gene through homologous recombinations. Third one is the an abnormal gene could be repaired through selective reverse mutations, which returns the gene to its normal functions. The regulations of a particular gene could be altered. Means the degree means it is an antisense technology or particular gene silencing phenomenon. There are uh, some approaches of gene therapy. First one is the gene augmentation. Second one is the gene replacement. Third one is the gene targeting. Fourth one is the uh, antisense. And uh, uh, one uh, approach is the product therapy. These are the approaches through which a particular gene therapy may be uh, used to treat the faulty genes. Generally, these are the diseases, uh, and uh, in these uh, to treat these disease uh, disease conditions, gene therapy may be applied. Just as discrete conditions, where a severe combined immunodeficiency conditions here, and uh, to treat the this uh, to treat these uh, conditions, bone marrow or T lymphocytes are the target cells where gene therapy can occur. In the case of hemophilia, where clotting factor is defective. And then in this case, generally target cells or liver and muscle cells. Hypercholesteremia, where LDL receptors are defective. LDL receptors, which is used to uh, uh, transport to the LDL low density lipoproteins. And if it is defective, then in this case, particular uh, cholesterol are deposited in the blood vessels because it cannot be transported to the cell in interior the, uh, to interior the cells. In these conditions, cholesterol levels are high and then hypercholesteremia is the result. Uh, cystic fibrosis in this case uh, generally is chan uh, ion channels which uh, transport the chloride ions which is uh, and uh, uh, which, which is defective in this case uh, in, the, uh, in the case of cystic fibrosis. Generally cancers, malignancies is here and different types cell types is uh, uh, that are the targets as for to treat the cancers with the help of gene therapy. And so infectious disease, in the case of infectious disease, generally AIDS and hepatitis B. And in this case, the target cell where uh, gene therapy can be applied is the white blood cells. Another application of uh, genetic engineering is in vitro fertilizer. In this case, generally, uh, generally it is also known as a test tube baby. Uh, in this case, fertilization of uh, collected ova outside the reproductive tract. Normal conditions uh, in the fallopian tubes, sperm and ova are fused, and then for the uh, these zygotic conditions are plotted on the uterus. But uh, in case of in vitro fertilizers, where uh, 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 ova are collected and uh, they fertilized in the lab conditions, semen from uh, males is collected and who are removed from the females both the semen and or uh, uh, particular fertilized in the lab conditions here is the situations who are uh, removed from here uh, or collected from the females and the semen is collected for the male gametes uh, male testes and then for the in the lab conditions both are fused and then for the uh, the fertilized eggs are growing on the, and the blastocyst stage after four days these blastocyst stage uh, is implanted on the uterus where it grew into a baby. The medical in, in the case of medical field, generally animal applications uh, in the form of transgenic animals. Generally, animals can be used as a bioreactor. The different uh, many human therapeutic proteins are needed in a large quantity, so scientists create female transgenic animals to express therapeutic proteins in milk. If a person uh, drinks this milk, then they got the uh, appropriate therapeutic proteins through the milk. Uh, different uh, uh, particular animals, just, just like a goat, cattle, sheep, and chickens, are sources of different antibodies. Means, uh, with the help of genetic engineering, we can produce the antibodies in these type of animals. The first clone animal is a dolly, is a sheep. In 1996. It was uh, created by the somatic cell transfer uh, nuclear transfer process. Dolly was born in July 5, 1996, and it was announced on February 22, 1997. Dolly was died in February 14, 2003. Uh, it was cloned from a cell taken from a six-year-old Eve, and uh, but. Uh, this the production of Dali is uh, become the center of much controversy that ex still exists today. 
how dolly was produced generally uh, there are uh, two uh, for the production of uh, dolly a donor cell is taken from a sip other cells means memory other cells here the donors uh, this is the donor cells here nucleus was removed and this is the uh, particular uh, another sip where egg, uh, egg cell is taken from uh, adult female sip <coughs> the nucleus of egg uh, was removed and the memory adder cells nucleus was transferred into this uh, uh, particular egg cell uh, through the help uh, with the help of micro injection method and then few cells begins dividing normally and then this embryo is placed into the uterus of a foster mother and then dolly was produced in this case uh, in the production of dolly uh, the male part is missing means dolly was uh, dolly was produced only uh, only through the uh, female part means no uh, uh, no male gamete is here no generally only female uh, female gamete uh, female gamete or female uh, particular conditions is here then dolly was produced genetically genetically manipul manipulated mice it is used uh, as a laboratory mice and uh, these laboratory mice are genetically manipulated by deleting a gene for use in biomedical research just like a gene knockout mice uh, gene knockout mice uh, is used for the immunological purpose uh, to study the immune responses of a particular uh, a gene in uh, a particular if uh, uh, we we wish to study a particular gene on uh, uh, immune response then if uh, the, uh, then uh, this type of uh, laboratory mice was developed uh, which have the uh, immune susceptible and then for the if uh, if a person want to study a particular antigen response of antigen on the body then this type of mice can be used how these uh, particular uh, uh, gene particularly transgenic mice was developed here is the donor female generally eight cell embryo stage was recovered here and then a transgene which uh, which uh, uh, effect was uh, will be studied is transferred into this eight cell embryo stage and in that further implanted into the implanted to the uh, uh, this uh, particular eight cell embryo stage carrying the transgene implanted into the uh, female mice and after this transgenic founder was selected means this mice has the transgenic transgenes and then it is used for the study uh, study the effect of this transgene on this particular mice systems another system is the micro injection method which we discussed uh, yesterday and this method is also used for the production of transgenic mice uh, next is the application of genetic engineering agriculture and food products generally it uh, includes a range of tools that scientists employ to understand and manipulate the genetic makeup of uh, an organism for use in the production of or uh, processing of agricultural products generally the alteration of genes in plants is used to fight the pests different types of pests and improve the nutritional quality of the plants it also improves the crop yields by introducing genes that confer resistance to different types of insects, different stress conditions, just, as, just like a, a drought uh, conditions or uh, temperature stress conditions, uh, tolerance to different types of herbicides, and resistance to different types of environmental stresses. Uh, it is the, uh, the genetically modified. Plant and then make sure that the gene is appropriately expressed. is 
Zen. Uh, GM uh, genetically modified crops are produced using uh, uh, different level techniques where genetic material from the cells of one species is transferred into another species. How genetic, uh, genetically modified crops are developed? Here, these are the steps. You know, in the first step, uh, gene of interest was extracted, and then after this uh this gene of interest is pruned into a suitable vector and then uh this recombinant form is transferred into the plant cells and then where uh a, where they express are some to uh, produce some specific proteins in the in the case of plant systems generally agrobacterium to bacteria uh, which have a particular ti plasmid means in the case of plant systems ti plasmid is used as a vector for the transfer of the gene and this uh, in this case particular uh here there's a uh, is the ti plasmid in which a particular dna was extracted and then further ligated into the ti plasmid and then for the is the this recombinant ti plasmid is transferred into the plant cell and through plant breeding the uh, particular uh, transgenic plants was developed these are the some sco scopes of uh, genetically modified crops. Genetically modified crops uh, can be uh, developed for the production of some specific enzymes and met uh, uh, metabolites. Genetically modified crops can be developed for the uh, uh, for uh, disease resistance capacity. It is also used. Uh, it is also produced for self, uh, for uh, increasing self life of different types of fruits and vegetables, just like a, a flavor flavored tomato. Reverse word tomato is a particular uh, uh, approved variety of tomato having longer shelf life. Genetically modified crops also can be produced, which uh, uh, which express the different uh, which express the antifungal proteins, and these proteins inhibit the uh, fungal pathogens. It is also used for the virus resistance. It can be developed for the virus resistance capacity herbicide insect tolerance as well as particular genetically modified crops uh, also used as a bioreactor or biofarming purposes it means just it can uh, develop uh, it can produce human proteins enzymes and different types of antibiotics as well as uh, vaccines which is used for the vaccination purposes in the case of vaccines just like an example of edible vaccines edible vaccine is the form of genetically modified crops which uh, uh, which is used uh, for developing the uh, sorry these edible vaccines can immunize uh, can uh, Im uh, have the immunization property against specific particular antigen uh, genetically modified crops are also produced for uh, stress tolerance capacity so these are the some uh, particular scopes where uh, for which genetically modified crops can be developed these are the top 10 genetically modified foods, just uh, genetically modified corn, soy, cotton seed, papaya, rice, etc. These are the top 10 genetically modified foods. Uh, the application of genetic engineering for the production of insect resistance plant. Generally, uh, a bacterium, soil bacterium, just uh, known as the bacillus thuringiensis, which is also short form is the Bt, having the chrysine. Mm -hmm. Uh, and this chrysine is the insecticidal protein. This chrysine has the property of insecticidal, uh, has the insecticidal property. This indirect the production of a uh, protein that causes paralysis and death of the many insects. How a uh, particular bacillus, uh, this uh, particular Bt, uh, Bt cotton or some, some uh, different types of plants are developed with the help of this uh, chrysine. <coughs> Generally, toxic crystal proteins uh, are bacillus thuringiensis, uh, uh, is a crystalline protein found during spirulations. Sporulation. <clears throat> These alkaline proteins degrade generally uh, gut wall of lepidopteran larva. These are the lepidopteran larvae, just like corn borer caterpillars, cotton bollworm caterpillars, tobacco hornworm uh, caterpillars. Uh, the chrysines 
uh, this glycine has been placed in corn, cotton, and potato and has been marketed. <coughs> Means these are the uh, particular BT plants which have the insecticidal property. How these uh, BT, uh, uh, BT plants is developed? Generally, particular uh, the crygene of Bacillus thuringiensis was isolated and then particular uh, ligated into the suitable vector and then transferred to the plant systems. In this uh, plants, they can uh, they uh, this uh, endotoxin th this crygene which is the endotoxin uh, is uh, expressed and synthesized in the form of inactive protoxins. These inactive protoxins, when the particular insects ingest this plant system, this plant, or uh, ingest this plant leaf, then this uh, particular inactive protoxin is uh, goes down into the mid gut of the insects, where protease activity activate this protoxin into the active toxins form, and then further in the mid gut, they particular rupture the uh, wall of the mid gut, and then further ion imbalance are there and then for the this uh, uh, ion imbalance causes electrolyte leakage and then le it leads to the uh, death of the insects similar to insect resistance plants there are some her uh, herbicide resistance plants which is uh, which also uh, developed with the help of genetic engineering techniques generally uh, here is the example glyphos glyphosate resistance plant development of glyphosate uh, resistance plant Glyphosate is a broad spectrum systemic herbicides which is used to kill different types of weeds, especially annual broadleaf weeds and grasses, known to compete with the commercial crops grown around the globe. Generally, scientists has isolated a glyphosate resistance gene from a specific plants and then successfully transferred it into the cotton, soybean, tobacco, and tomatoes. And these plant these plants are resistant to the this glyphosate herbicides. Uh, golden rice, it is also an example of uh, genetic engineering. This uh, rice is uh, rich in beta carotene, which is the precursor of uh, vitamin A. <coughs> uh, this uh, plant is developed with the help of uh, two genes, PSY, which is uh, which uh, uh, extract from the daffodils, phytin synthesis, uh, and it, uh, it, it this gene is uh, called the uh, a code the enzyme a code for enzymes fight uh, phytoene synthase and the second gene is the crt1 which is the carotene desat uh, which codes for the carotene desaturase and it is extracted from erbinia bacteria both the genes are uh, ligated in both the genes are uh, ligated to the appropriate vector and then further this these vectors are transferred to the particular plants means rice plant and where they express and then form a particular beta uh, uh, then induce the formation of beta carotene means this plant has uh, has, uh, has the high value of beta carotene and when person ingests this plant they uh, obtain the beta carotene which is a precursor of vitamin A. Next one is the gene silencing phenomena just here is the antisense technology. Antisense technology, it is a powerful weapon for studying gene functions and uh, for discovering new and more specific treatment of disease in humans, animals, and plant systems. Generally, uh, uh, in traditional definitions of antisense, it uh, refers to the laboratory manipulations or modification of DNA or RNA so that its component from a complementary copy of normal or sense messenger RNA. Means DNA uh, generally. Uh, DNA is a double standard, and one copy, uh, one strand is the sense strand, and second one is the anti sense strand. Both the strands are complementary to each other. If this DNA or a, if a gene is expressed and forms mRNA, and if the complementary part of that mRNA uh, is produced in the cell, then both the mRNA means uh, the messenger RNA and the anti sense mRNA are hybridized, and their tra uh, translation is not. Uh, uh, Translation is not started because double standard uh, uh, mRNA cannot participate in the translation process. Means the gene is blocked. Means the expression of gene is blocked. This is the antisense technology. Here is the promoter sequence which express this uh, uh, mRNA, which uh, which is where RNA polymerase binds and then for the it express and then form mRNA. This is the target uh, original genes which uh, here which is the sense strand 
which express and form mRNA. Here, the antisense construct of this uh, original genes, which expression can be, uh, which expressions to be blocked, then antisense construct form the. Uh, here is the uh, anti, uh, particular genes which express and anti, uh, here form the mRNA, which is the antisense product of this mRNA. It, both the uh, mRNA, both the RNA are complementary to each other, and then here. It is the original mRNA and it is the antisense product of this mRNA and then complementarity is here. mRNA cannot be translated because double standard uh, mRNA cannot be participated in the translation process as well as sometimes RNAs H, uh, double, standard, uh, double standard structure of RNA activate the cellular RNAs which cleave this uh, double standard product. Uh, flavor sour tomato is an example of this antisense technology. Uh, generally, yeah, this uh, flavor sour tomato uh, is uh, reached in the market in early 1990s. Uh, it, uh, this flavor sour tomato uh, is engineered to have a longer shelf life. Generally, no soft spots, no rotten spots, and this tomato resists the spoilage. <coughs> Generally, uh, tomato in the key in the uh, during ripening, tomato produce a specific protein that softens them after they have been picked. Uh, if uh, the uh, because uh, generally th if the uh, expression of this protein is blocked, then softening may be delayed. Then scientists can now introduce a gene into a tomato plant that block the synthesis of softening proteins. Without this protein. The genetically altered tomato softens more slowly than a regular tomato and uh, it enables the farmers to harvest it at its most flavorful and nutritious wine ripe stages. Uh, generally, the proteins which uh, uh, softens the particular, uh, which initiate or soften the tomato or which initiate the particular ripening process of tomato is the polygalactoinazine. Generally, polygalactoinazine is responsible for the ripening of tomato. And if this polygalacto, the expression of this polygalacto gene is blocked or uh, uh, particular expression is slowed down, then ripening must may be delayed. And for this purpose, the antisense part of this polygalacto gene is synthesized and then trans uh, transferred into the tomato plants, where it uh, antisense part is expressed and binds with the polygalacto mRNA, and then inhibit the particular uh, expression of this polygalactoinase gene. Uh, another example of genetic engineering in the case of agricultural and food products is the molecular farming. Molecular farming is the phenom uh, is the use of uh, genetically modified plants as a source of pharmaceutical products. Means the agricultural biotech may combine with the medical biotech in order to produce drugs with the help of molecular farming. It is a new field where plants and animals are genetically engineered to produce some uh, specific important pharmaceutical products and as well as vaccines and other valuable compounds. Just uh, as an example, soybeans have been used to produce monoclonal antibody with therapeutic value for the treatment of colon cancer. Different types of drugs can also be produced in uh, rice, corn and tobacco plants. Uh, plants have been engineered to produce human antibodies against uh, HIV. Pharmaceuticals uh, have begun clinical trials with the herpes antibodies producing plants. So these are the particular another approach of genetic engineering where uh, different types of pharmaceuticals can be produced with the, with the help of particular plant systems. Uh, another e example of uh, molecular farming is the form of productions of edible vaccines. Edible vaccines are vaccines uh, uh, produced in plants that can be administered directly through the ingestion of plant materials. Means if we eat the plant materials, then we cut, uh, then we get immunized. Because uh, uh, the first human cl uh, human clinical trial took place in 1997 of the edible vaccines, vaccine against the which is the vaccine against the enterotoxins from the bacteria E. coli, which was produced in potato. Ingestion of this transgenic potato resulted in satisfactory vaccination and no adverse effect. Other candidates for edible vaccines include banana, tomato, and alfalfa, corn, wheat, and these are the possible candidates 
which uh, which is used for the production of edible vaccines. Uh, ye, uh, some specific characters of uh, edible vaccines. These edible vaccines works like any vaccine, uh, uh, different types of any vaccine, uh, any uh, different types of vaccines. A transgenic plant with a pathogen protein gene is developed. Means uh, uh, an, an antigen genes was ex uh, extracted and isolated and uh, ligated into suitable vector. This uh, recombinant is transferred into the plant cells and then uh, where these plant cells express the particular uh, uh, antigens. And then when uh, we ingest this plant, we get immunized because uh, the antigen ac uh, activate the immune, immune system of our body. And then antibody, uh, uh, then uh, antibody against the antigen is prepared, and then be immunized. Generally, uh, potato, banana, and tomato are the targets because we uh, eat uh, cooking. Uh, generally, human eat this. These the body produce antibodies against pathogen proteins, which was uh, uh, which was. Uh, uh, and the humans are immunized against the pathogens. Generally, the uh, pathogenic uh, uh, the pathogens we, uh, against which current uh, vaccine is on hepatitis, which is a which causes a chronic uh, liver disease, transgenic tobacco. And against orally. The, uh, how uh, edible vaccines can be, uh, how to make the edible vaccines. Okay, here is the examples. This is the pathogenic conditions. Like, uh, here are the bacterial pathogens. And uh, here is the antigen genes, which was extracted and ligated into a particular suitable vector. And then recombinant was transferred into the plant cells and then plant cells express these particular antigenic genes, means antigenic proteins. And we, when we ingest this plant, uh, antigenic proteins enter into the, our body, and this anti antigenic proteins uh, uh, activate the, our immune, uh, immune cells, and then in antibody or other immune responses appear, then we immunized. Next application of genetic engineering in, in environment. Generally, genetic engineering is exploiting the huge potential of microorganisms, plants, animals for the restoration of the environment. Uh, it is actively involved in the development of microorganisms and biocatalysts for remediations of contaminated different types of contaminated water environments, just like a soil, uh, contaminated soils, contaminated water, and in development of eco-friendly processes such as developing recombinant testing for biofuel productions. A number of genetically engineered microorganisms are developed, which are involved in the biodegradation of waste materials. As the genes for enzymes involved in the biodegradation pathway are mainly located on the plasmids, it is possible to create new strains by genetic manipulation of such plasmids. Because uh, generally, uh, the genes which is uh, the genes uh, for enzymes are the enzymes which uh, play major role in the degradation of, uh, in the degradation of different types of pollutants are generally located on the bacterial plasmids and if we uh, manipulate the these plasmids then we can uh, create a new strain which uh, may be apply uh, which may be uh, in this pollutant and using this technique, Anand Mohan Chakravarti and his team of co-workers in 1970 developed a new strain of bacterium, which is known as a pseudomonas. Uh, uh, sorry, which is known, known as a superbug. Superbug is a bacteria, uh, bacteria generally pseudomonas putida. Pseudomonas putida is a bacteria which is used for the, uh, and this superbug is used for the treatment of oil spills. Uh, this superbug is uh, able to produce a combination of enzymes involved in the degradation of a number of hydrocarbons present in the petroleum. And superbug became the first genetically engineered microorganisms to be patented. 
using the process of plasmid transfer, it is possible to recombine two plasmids carrying gene for CAM means camphor degrading and oct octane degrading respectively. This result is a CAM oct plasmid in the bacterium which can degrade both camphor as well as octane. Means this particular superbug is capable to degrade the camphor as well as octane in the petroleum. These are the some other uh, particular uh, applications of genetic engineering in environmental remediations. Here is the in the case of bioremediations, which uh, is used to clean the uh, clean up the contaminated environment, as well as in the case of biocontrol. Biocontrol uh, means uh, particular to inhibit the pathogens. Uh, reduced pathogens activity, disease activity, as well as fungal fungal activity, for uh, with the help of productions of antimicrobial metabolites, as well as particular genetic engineering may be applied for the phytostimulation situations. Means it enhances the activity, it enhances the productions of uh, particular some plant hormones, just like uh, IAA, ACC deaminase, which is also uh, particular. Uh, a particular enzymes, one amino cyclopropane and uh, synthase enzyme, the TMNH enzymes, that really enhance the routing systems, nitrogen uptake, reduced fertilizer uses with the help of bio. If we use bio fertilizer, then we uh, the dependency of on uh, chemical fertilizer is reduced. Uh, bio fertilization in the case of bio fertilizers, we develop the uh, nitrogen fix, uh, nitrogen fixing bio fertilizer, phosphate solubilization bio fertilizers. Different types of bio fertilizers are available to, uh, today, and uh, the dependency of a particular chemical fertilizers may be reduced. These are the microbial cell, cell factory where uh, gene expression takes place, and then for the primary metabolism and secondary metabolism form. Secondary metabolites only. Uh, uh, these microbial cells are can be used for the production of different types of antibiotics with the help of genetic engineering techniques because uh, the uh, generally antibiotics are the secondary metabolites of the microbial systems which may be employed for the uh, which uh, may be used for, to treat the particular different types of diseases so these are the uh, some applications of uh, genetic engineering in the dip, uh, in different types of fields just like a medical field agricultural field and particular for the agri uh, uh, environment conditions Okay. Any query? No, sir. Okay. 